we're here with Roger Romo. Romo, he just got his fourth victory. How do you feel after the layoff? So I felt a little rusty in there, but so I went in there. I did what I had to do. I tried to, I tried to see if I could hurt him in the beginning. I caught him with some good shots, but uh, some nuts you can't crack, so you gotta just box. That's what I did. I started using my stick, started moving, started being intelligent. That's, that's, all, that's basically what happened. I, I felt pretty good though. So do you have a, do you feel any pressure when you fight to live up to the family legacy? Absolutely. Yeah, to say that, you wouldn't feel any pressure being the younger brother of a legend like my brother. I mean, you're lying. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could tell yourself something all you want, but that pressure's still there. It's always gonna be there. This guy came in awkward. He threw a lot of hooks from different angles. Right. Uh, is that why you more boxed rather more than... More box. I, I heard uh, I had my brother from the front. I heard him. And I, I've always been able to hear him since we were kids. I told him I wanted him to be right there in the front because I always hear him. And he told me, box. You're already making him look dumb. Box. Be intelligent. Box. That's what I heard. That's what I did. I was going to try to stay there and get hit with things that I need to get hit with. So do you think you have an advantage working with people like Sergio Martinez on a daily basis? <sighs> I think um, I think that really comes in handy because you learn a lot, you know. But you could work with the best people in the world and you won't learn anything. It's just about how you really put yourself into the sport. And I feel like I'm barely starting to do that right now. You've been a pro for a while. You don't have a lot of fights. Right. Um, is that something you're looking to correct in the future? No, yeah. No, I mean I wasn't serious before. I would I would go out and party and I didn't care. And now I'm really serious about it. You know, my brother hasn't been any of my fights since my first fight. He was there. He fought the next day. He carried me in the ring. That was the best feeling in the world. Tonight, I felt that feeling again. He was right there with me. I think he sees that I'm getting serious again. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to correct that and keep fighting and, and keep trying to make him proud. Is there anything you'd like to say in closing? In closing, I'd like to uh, say that I felt good. And I'd like to thank everybody that, that, that helped me in my camp. My, my manager, Adam. My other brother, Javier. He's right here. Me too. Of course, my big bro, Feroz. Uh, my my uh, diet and strength and conditioning, see Cecilio Flores, all the guys uh, that helped me out with this training camp. All right.